much, Lauren. You've really outdone yourself this time. I don't know where to begin. It's just absolutely gorgeous and very powerful, each one. The colour is just getting better and better and better each time, if it can. So, so thank you so much for being the reason you've gathered so many admirers in this room. So welcome everybody. Thank you, Lauren. I'd like to introduce Stuart Hicks for as uh, CEO of Margaret River Buckleton Tourist Association, lover of Lauren's paintings and our furniture to speak on our behalf. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, can I first of all join you in congr congratulating Lauren? I think what, we what, need a big yeah. clap. What a fantastic <laughs> One of the most prodigious talents in our region. We're very proud of her. This is not her first exhibition in, in, in this place, probably the third, is it? I, I suspect she's been, been back a couple of times. Um, but everybody knows, I'm sure, or at least can empathise with an artist, uh, that this, this is an important night for, for, for an artist. You live personally and privately with a whole lot of works of art, and suddenly they're up on the wall and uh, you're uh, exposing uh, uh, yourself in a creative experience. And, uh, uh, Lauren, you every reason very proud of what you've done and the way you've done it. Uh, I'll come back to that in a moment, but I want to say something else before I do that, um, because the topic, uh, uh, the title of this exhibition is, is Memory of Place, uh, and we can't stand here uh, tonight without thinking a little about a memory of this place here, uh, Jarrah. Um, and can I say to Joe and Lara uh, and David and Gary, um, you've been institutions in this place for a long, a long period of time, um, and we're going to miss you. I'm going to come and cry the day the Joe Rock sign comes <laughs> down uh, in the hallway uh, out, uh, out, out, out here. Uh, we wish you well in, 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 in your new endeavours, uh, 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 all of you. Um, one of my uh, experiences uh, in, in, in times past that I've enjoyed very much uh, is something that the professions call placemaking, which is the business basically of planning and engineering big spaces and trying to turn them into a place that has uh, a human aspect uh, to, uh, to it all. And that sort of experience uh, through the years has made me extremely thoughtful about the fact that Place is not really about the postcard, it's not really about the hero's shot, it's not about the photograph of something that looks exactly like uh, every other picture that's ever taken, it's something in there, it's the blood and spit and muscle uh, of human relationships that makes a place. And it's that that builds the memories uh, of, of, of place. And it's often the strange things, the funny things, the things that we feel uh, and recall, somewhat nostalgically quite often uh, when we think about place um, that is so much part of the business of, 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 of being human. Um, the Wadandi people who have walked this place here for 3,000 generations get that uh, and I acknowledge tonight the Wadandi people and the proud Nyungar nation who for 65,000 years have walked along with this piece of water uh, uh, just out here. But what they talk about is the idea of a whole place, everything in it, all being living, not just the creatures and the plants, but everything else uh, as well. Uh, the sticks and stones, the water, the sky, the soil, the soil uh, every aspect of it is, is to the Wadani people alive. And they say that for a couple of, couple of reasons. Um, one is, of course, in recognising the interconnectedness of everything that you, you live with, but also because they recognise that uh, uh, things that surround us, whatever they are, carry memories, carry, carry the spirits of what they've been and where they've come from uh, before. As I say, those are not things that you can photograph. You can't take a photograph of that, of that, of that, of that stuff. But the aspects of place that are really important to us, all of us, are those to do with the emotions that we, that, that we, that we feel. Um, which brings me to a table. Um, uh, about 11, 12 years ago, we were building a new house uh, down here uh, and uh, I wanted to get, at all costs, uh, 
one of the island, island tables uh, that Jar Rock was famous for. Um, and to have a piece of Mary timber, um, which was hundreds of years old, which had in it the spirit of, of, of this particular place. We, we effectively designed the entire kitchen around the gorgeous table that uh, Gary and David put, put <laughs> together uh, for us. Now, a couple of things happened during that process. One was, it was 2011, uh, and the table had just been finished and was in storage at Kilkarna. I'm looking at you, Gary. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, when the fire, bushfire came right up and indeed consumed a lot of lovely timber that, that, that Gary had outside. But we were lucky enough, our table was inside, uh, but it carries the memory of, uh, of, of that fire. But that table also carries a divot, um, which is my memory of now my 11 year old grandson when he was two. Uh, um, and I still run the finger around in that little divot uh, uh, a little bit, and the scratch of a, uh, a beautiful Mor Moroccan bowl that uh, wasn't properly ground uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, underneath. Uh, but those are the memories of as great importance as anything else that, that influences. And that brings me to the work that we are privileged to look at tonight because uh, uh, Lauren has, has titled it Memory of Place because what she's doing is, is helping us to access nostalgia, uh, belongings, beliefs, dreams, the feelings of place that are often very temporary, pass, pass through, very, very transient, but you can't photograph can't photograph, um, and uh, only a great artist can sometimes find a way of helping you to access that, that, that sort of thing. And what she's done, I invite you to, 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 to admire again, um, is, is a number of very clever things. Um, one is coloured by the uh, inspiration that that uh, Lauren got when, when uh, she was in the National Portrait Gallery in London. I don't know, uh, probably not everybody has had the privilege of going through there, um, um, but, 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 but there's some gorgeous Tudor works there. There's one in particular that I remember, which is the portrait of uh, Elizabeth I. Um, if, you, if, if you can conjure it up, uh, it's, it's, it's a fairly formalised, very ar ar aristocratic portrait. Um, uh, Elizabeth in all her finery, in her ermines with her scepter and robes and all those sorts of things, but with a elongated nose, uh, large eyes, perfect, perfect complexion, uh, and a sense of uh, arist aristocratic uh, being, which is very special in that particular picture. If one digs into that and brings it into the experiences we have, in these spaces and our memories of place, then Lauren helps us to see people who have sometimes aristocratic bearings, but often very domestic bearings. The hair's all over the place sometimes. Um, they, uh, um, they can stare right at us, they can be looking off to one side, they can be wistful, uh, thoughtful about the space that they're in or the place that they, they're in. Um, at the same time, they're not like uh, Elizabeth with a, with a, a royal uh, ermine. They were guinea pigs, <laughs> <coughs> or dogs, or native birds, or horses, or things that are very much part of the, the democracy of uh, our ordinary lives in the uh, in the process. And there's a great juxtaposition in, in that. Another thing that I see uh, in, in Lauren's gorgeous work um, is the fact that in, in, in her earliest years she had something to do with the rag trade and that she understands material, she understands colour uh, and texture through a love of, 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 of material um, and, and a number of the works uh, ooze that sense of textured materiality, including that, that Gorgeous one down, down the end, the wallpaper, the, the, the chair, um, the, uh, the clothing of those to do with the love and respect of the materiality of, of, of 
<laughs> material. And it's also, um, I think in these, these works very often, um, a presence of great skies, gorgeous skies. Uh, and the, um, some of the works here, a writer tells me, take inspiration from driving through uh, the southwest and, 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 and the great southern and sensing those skies and that, that uh, uh, a materiality by texture of a sky uh, in, the, in the process. Um, it's, it's a very great pleasure to open this exhibition tonight. It's a doubly great pleasure because there's a red sticker on just about every jolly <laughs> picture, picture here, um, which, which is a great comfort, I'm sure, to everybody involved with the exhibition and, 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 and the great, great reward um, for, this, for this wonderful piece of work. Um, in opening the uh, exhibition tonight, um, can I encourage you to take another look at these fine and beautiful works, even if you haven't managed to buy one, uh, and take home a memory of those. Um, in turn, they will go into their homes and become part of the memory of those particular places as well. Uh, thank you so much for, for coming tonight, uh, and we're open. Thank you. <laughs>